Hey everybody, ScanMD. We're going to show you how to install the RDIO scanner on your phone. We're using an Apple iPhone. However, Android is, uh, the app is pretty much the same process using their app um, Play Store. So you're going to come in here and you're just going to type in RDIO uh, scanner. Click on, if it pops up, click on RDIO scanner. You're going to find this red and blue icon. You're going to download that and then press open. Once it opens up, you're going to be greeted with a with a splash screen the first time you open this, it's gonna show you what the different button's doing, kind of explains it. It's gonna say like, press the live feed button to listen live, use the select talk groups to choose the channels you'd like to monitor, pause it if you need to pause it for a second and then come back and listen. Shows you how to go to search call where you can play back calls by channel, um, you know, what hold does and so on and so forth. So uh, what you're gonna see when you get to the end of swiping to the left is you're gonna see um, a page that looks similar to this where it says server URL and what you need to enter in there is https colon forward slash forward slash somd.p25.live. There is no access code, leave it blank. You're going to hit connect and then you're going to dismiss this program. Once you're in here, you're going to see scanmd.org, uh, SOMD, because that's what you're listening to. And then I'm just going to walk you through the screen here. So this is the current time locally here in uh, Southern Maryland. This is how many people are listening to the to the application uh, currently. And then your queue is how many transmissions are waiting to be played? You know, how many transmissions are you waiting to hear? Uh, a traditional scanner, you know, when it stops on a channel, you hear whatever's happening on that channel and then it scans again. If you have two, three, or four transmissions going on at the same time, you, you end up missing transmissions uh, or hear, you know, radio calls. Um, with this, you don't miss anything. It'll queue the calls up. Um, and hold on to them until you get a chance to play them all through. Uh, usually, uh, this queue doesn't get too high unless you're listening to everything in Southern Maryland, police, fire, and EMS all at one time. Then Friday, Saturday nights, or busy nights, you can see this queue get up to 30 or 40 high. Um, you know, I would highly recommend that you don't listen to everything at one time. So if you wanted to listen to the live feed as it is right now, you would just click the live feed button right here. But I'm going to kind of skip down to the select talk groups because this is important. So right now you can see that everything is divided up by systems. The systems would be Calvert County, Charles County, St. Mary's County, Maryland. Maryland would be like Maryland State Police and like med channels to the hospital, stuff like that. Um, and then NDWFD uh, would be Naval District Washington Fire Department. That would be like Indian Head, um, uh, Dahlgren, Naval Academy, uh, Patuxent River Naval Air Station. This is their fire dispatch. Units are encrypted. You cannot hear unit to unit. You cannot hear a unit talking to the dispatch center. All you can hear is the dispatcher talking. Um, but you can still hear dispatches. That's why we provide the feed. I'm going to scroll back up to the top. These are your different, um, I guess you would call them services or agencies or I guess it would be services. So if you were to, for example, not want to listen to fire and EMS, you click this, you notice it's a green light, but if you click this, uh, now you shut off all fire and EMS for all of Southern Maryland. Everything that was fire EMS related is now off. So let's turn that back on. And we're gonna shut off the event channels. We're gonna shut off the hospital. We're gonna shut off interop. We're gonna shut off security. Security is St. Mary's College Public Safety. They're like the police at the college here in St. Mary's County. Services would be like animal control. Um, and then Sheriff's Department and State Police. So I just wanna listen to fire and EMS for this. So. Now you can see just fire and EMS is green. Everything else is red. I won't hear anything that's in red. You're only going to hear the channels that are in green. For the layman that doesn't really know like uh, how this works for fire, if you hear them say units responding to the house fire switch to 10 alpha 3, that means this channel here, fire 10A3. They they say alpha for A, bravo for B, Charlie for, or yes, Charlie for C. So that being said, we're going to go back and hit the live feed so we can hear what's going on on the radio system for Fire and EMS. Intercepts from EMS 12 to Eagle, Eagle Court. Court. So they got some calls going on in Charles County right now, it looks like. Um, and talk about this screen a little more. You can see the unit ID here. For Charles County, we don't really have the unit IDs labeled. But Calvert and St. Mary's County, we do have a lot of the units labeled. It's not all of them. But, um, you know, we do have several units. So it would say like Engine 7 1 Mobile or um, Squad 7 OIC uh, for Calvert County and so on and so forth. So uh, it sounds like they're, 
they have a call and the ambulance didn't respond or something. Um, but there's no other transmissions going on. Now, if we went in here and turned on the police, we'd probably hear some stuff because they talk more than anybody on the radio system. So we'll leave that on for a few. Let's go here and talk about search call. Search call lets you play calls back. So you can go in here and go by system. So you can choose who you want to listen to. So let's go to Calvert County and we'll go to Fire Alpha 5. That's their main fire channel. And you can see they had an incident back around 1900 hours. And then they had another incident, it looks like about lunchtime. So let's go to the incident at lunchtime and start playing that. Uh, first of all, you have to shut off live. Um, we should shut the live feed off because it won't, it won't play every transmission. It'll only play the one that you clicked on. So let's do that. And it looks like, oh, here we go. I went back too far. So you can see the date changed. So we want the 26th. We're going to start playing that. Now you can see it's engine 22 and squad two talking. 22 squad two, port of eight, chimney fire at the residence. So this is a chimney fire from a one o'clock this morning. <laughs> so that's how you do a playback. If you want to stop playing back, you can just hit live feed. It cancels out everything, and then you click it again to get the green light, and now you're scanning everything that's got a green light here. So police and fire is what we're listening to right this minute. So that is how the RDIO scanner works. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. You kind of got to play around with it to understand it a little bit. But, you know, this is how many live listeners there are. This is how many calls are in the queue. This is the time of the transmission. And the current time. If you don't want to listen to this, you can skip next. Through Maryland 9, Echo Foxtrot, 5002, Echo Foxtrot, 5002, Echo Foxtrot, 5002, Echo Foxtrot. So that's RDIO scanner for Southern Maryland. It works pretty good. Let me know what you guys think.